This is the richest pay dirt ever found, Randy. And you're going to have the best feet of your life and a new gold collar. certainly can play that thing, Hank. Well, Bob, I sure thank you, but you know I reckon, Bob, if I'd put as much time or doing some honest hard work as I have picking this guitar, I might be a rich man today. <laughs> Say, why don't you play that one for me that uh, you wrote about your girl down in Texas? You mean that, that lonesome cowboy? That's the one. Okay, Bob. I'm just a lonesome cowboy who strayed away from home. Wanna get back home to Texas, I vow no more to roam. I can see the cattle roaming, I hear the cowboys yell. I can hear the sweet, clear laughter of a pretty Texas gal. But here I am on a strange ranch, many miles from home. When I get back home to Texas, I vow no more to roam. But I met lots of nice folks since I've been here, and they sure do treat me right. But I miss that cowboy hoop and yell in town on Saturday night. But I met lots of nice folks since I've been here, and they sure do treat me right. But I miss that cowboy whoop and yell in town on Saturday when I get back home to Texas, going to find that preacher man. Going to marry that little old gal of mine and do the best I can. Pretty good, Hank. Have you really got a girl down in Texas? Well, I got a gal down there. I don't know whether I'm her fella or not, but I'm hoping so, Bob. I really like it, a little gal. Are you going back and marry her? Yes, I don't know how soon I'll be going back, Bob, but you know I'm going to go back to Texas someday. I've been a hankering to go back for a long time. Well, I can tell it from that song <laughs> you just written. Certainly makes you homesick, doesn't it? Yes, it does, Bob. Got an important letter for Bob. I thought I'd bring it out myself. Thanks, Joe. That's kind of you. You're I'll welcome. Take it. Here's a letter for you, Bob, and it's from Larry Moore. Larry struck it rich. Oh, boy. oh, son, that's great news. I'll say it is. But you know what that means? Uh -huh. That means that I'm going to have to go to Larry. Well, I'll go and get your things ready. All right, I go too, Bob. 
No, Hank, you better stay here and take care of Mother and take care of the ranch. No, shucks. Well, you won't forget to send for me. Well, I might send for you later if it's a good strike. Okay. Don't shoot. And don't let them get me. All right. Now you stay here till I get back. I almost got hidden back there and he got away. Well, I reckon you're the fella that scared him away. And I'm much obliged to you. You sure saved that strike. I guess there's no harm done. He didn't get anything. Say, are you here? Yeah. I'll get my horse and ride in with you if you don't mind. Good. All right. as far as we go. Say, um, maybe you can help me out. I'm looking for a friend of mine that has claim around here. His name's Larry Moore. Do you know him? Oh, I know. I don't recollect having met anyone with that name. Well, he's got a mind. He calls it the two friends. I tell you what. You go over and call on Frank Sheridan. He meets most everybody that drifts in here. And that's his place right over there. All right. Thanks very much.
Come in. Mr. Sheridan? Yes? My name's Bob Crandall. Well, I'm glad to know you, Mr. Crandall. What can I do for you? Well, I'm looking for a man by the name of Larry Moore. He owns a mine nearby here called the Two Friends. Do you know where I can locate him? Larry Moore? Two Friends Mine? The names don't come to my mind just now. Well, our company bought up quite a few claims around Bonanza. Uh, let me look in my files. Are you sure your friend's claim was near Bonanza? I'm positive of it. He mentioned the name of the town in his letters. I wonder if I could find out anything at the recorder's office. That's a good idea. If he filed a claim around here, it'll be recorded in the books at that office. I'll go over with you. That's fine. the recorder's office across the street. Hello, Looney. Struck it rich? I just struck the brother load. I got millions. What's the matter with him? Poor devil, he's a bit cracked. He's always making a big strike. Sam, this gentleman is looking for some information. See if you can help him out. I'm trying to locate a man by the name of Larry Moore. He's got a mine called the Two Friends. It's located near here. You say it must have been around January? Yes, uh, that's the month he wrote me that he just made the strike. There's nothing here in the record book. Well, I don't understand it. Well, a lot of them don't record their claims. They're afraid of a stampede. Yes, that's right. Then again, he might have found an immediate buyer, sold out, and moved on. Now, that sounds possible, but, but I doubt it. I think I'll mosey around town and do a little inquiring. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help, but if there's anything else I can do, look me up. Thank you very much for your trouble, Mr. Sheridan. Thank you, too. Say, partner, that isn't very sportsmanlike kicking a hungry dog like that. 
You attend to your own business. I ain't gonna have no dog around while I'm eating. All right, drop that chair. Get up there. You too. Come on. Stand up there. All right. Now get going. Hey, you. You wait a minute. Pick up that chair. Now sit down. Take off your hat. Take it off. You wait here. I'm going to tell the boss. Waitress. Come here. I can't eat anymore. <laughs> then give it to uh, the dog. Come on, give it to him. That's a boy. He likes it. I think you better pay the check. How much? Dog steak, too. Two dollars. All right, get it. I'll get you and that mutt both for this. I think we can take care of ourselves. Well, how'd you like that, boy? Stay here and watch that fella. I'm fixing him before he leaves this town. Come on over here. I want to talk to you. Come on. Come on over here. Come on. Ah, it's a baby. Listen, come on. L.M., Larry Moore. Do you know Larry? Boy, do you know Larry? <coughs> you do? <coughs> come on, take me to Larry. Come on. Well, I sort of ruined that table there. How much do we all told? Ah, oh, forget it. It was worth the table to see you wipe up the flow of them bullies. <laughs> Well, I'll drop in again sometime. But listen, use the chair next time. It's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. can't take a chance on him finding out anything. Somebody might drop a word and... Carolyn! Crandall just rode out of town. Which way was he headed? Toward Silver Trail. Well, that's the direction of the mine. I wonder if he's found out something already. Follow him and see that he doesn't come back. Understand? That'll be a pleasure. You better go out the back way.
What do you want? I'm looking for a little information. About what? About a friend of mine named Larry Moore. Do you know him? Never heard of him. You saw that sign over there, didn't you? You better get going. Just a minute. I want to ask you boys a few questions, and you better come clean. What was the name of this mine before it was the Triangle? I don't get you. It's all the Triangle Mine. Oh, yeah? Well, a friend of mine by the name of Larry Moore discovered this, and he called it the Two Friends Mine. That's so, isn't it? You got the wrong place, partner. No telling how many he's got helping him. Hey, Stampede, no horses. Go round them up. What did he want around here? He wanted to know about Larry Moore. Hey, this is getting serious. I better ride back to town and tell the boss. There's no telling how much help that fellow's got here. I get back. You sent for me, Mr. Sheridan? Sam, I just got the assayer's report on that mine I was telling you about. 
It's rich. I want you to destroy all record of it in your books. I'm adding it to the triangle interest in a day or so. Uh, don't you think that's dangerous with that, that friend of Larry Moore's hanging around? He suspects plenty now. And if there should be a row, what? Don't you worry about this Bob Crandall. The boys will take care of him the minute he shows his face. I'll take care of the brain work. You just follow my orders. I wish I'd never got into this thing. You are in it, and you're going to stay in it and do as I say, as long as I say. Now go on over to your office and destroy those records. Yes, sir. What's up, Sam? That friend of Moore's. He broke into my office and is snooping around my record book. Is he there now? Uh, yes. Well, I'll go get Kurt and Tex. You run and notify the boss. <clears throat> After you? Yes. What do you want? We're looking for a thief who just robbed the recorder's office. Come in here. Quick, get in that clothes closet.
Boys, search all the rooms. Dunn, you go down and call the sheriff. Come on, I'll show you where the phone is. What happened, Mr. Sheridan? We're looking for a thief. Did you see anyone? Why, no. He must have went out the back way. Well, continue the search outside. Sorry we had to wake you, Miss Ellen. No. You can come out now. Uh, you sort of helping me like this uh, makes us even. <laughs> yes. The last time we met, I was this. Oh, so that's what they called me, huh? Yes. Well, I don't suppose there's any harm changing confidences. You know, I'm sort of curious as to uh, why a girl like you would try to hold up an oil wagon. Suppose it was just my way of getting what rightfully belongs to me. You mean the silver bullion in that wagon? Yes, from one of the mines that's supposed to belong to the Triangle Company. The Triangle Mining Company? You also seem interested in the Triangle. You bet I am. What did they do to you? Not me. My father. They robbed him of his mine and murdered him. Oh, uh, I'm sorry that I... Uh... Oh, that's all right. Uh, sit down and I'll tell you about it. I was east in school when it happened. And I was to meet my father here when he got settled. I received a letter from him telling me of some trouble he was in. He mentioned the Triangle people, so I was afraid and I came at once. But I was too late. Seems that other people have met with the same fate as my father. This Triangle Company has reached out and tried to steal every mine in this section. So I remained here, determined to find out who robbed and murdered my father. I took an assumed name so that no one would discover who I really was. And you've learned nothing? Not yet. But I'm not giving up. Then perhaps we can work together and help one another. Like you, I came out here to meet someone, my partner. But I was too late. I think it'll be safer if I have this record book until we take care of this snooper. I knew we were going to be found out. I'm not going in any deeper. I'm through. Shut up. We haven't been found out yet. Stop your whimpering. Put out that light and go on home. So you see, we're sort of drawn together by a common cause. To find the man that's back of this triangle mining company. If we could only find out who left that mysterious note on your saddle. He must know something. Yes, he did give me a good tip. There's a lot of crooked business going on. A lot of he's torn out that recording book. And the man that's keeping it's taking orders from someone. If we could only make him talk. Do you know where this recorder Dunn lives? Yes, right at the edge of town. Wait until I dress and I'll go with you. All right. It's dark in there, but the door's open. Look. <gasps> It looks like we're too late again. He's been shot. And the man that shot him got through that window. He'll never do any more talking. Oh. And if I don't miss my guess, the triangle out fit her back at us. To prevent him from talking? It certainly looks that way. Say, we better get out of here. If someone sees us, we'll have a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. Too bad we didn't find out anything. Yes, it is. Hi, boy. Oh, so this is your friend's dog. Yes. I was wondering if you could keep him for me. You see, I'm going to have to work undercover from now on. Well, I'll be glad to, Mr. <laughs> we don't even know each other's names. I'm Molly Welburn. Mine's Bob Crandall. And now that we know each other and going to work together, I think we better decide on a secret meeting place. Yes. You know, it wouldn't be so good for us to be seen together. No. I know just the place. There's an old abandoned mine shack about a mile out of the Silver Trail. It'll be safe for us to meet there. Good. I'll walk part way back to the hotel with you. All right. Come on, boy. I heard old Sam was done up last night. Yep. Murder. Well, Mr. Sheridan's in there checking up now. I guess we've looked over everything. There's nothing left here that can do us any harm. Anything gone? Yes, the record book. I'm sure the number we chased last night got poor old Sam. 
I liked old Sam. I guess the least I can do is see that he gets a decent burial. Alan. Good morning, Mr. Sheridan. What's the matter, boss? The record book. It's gone. Well, come with me. What I've got to show you may explain who took it. A dog. Well, what of it? That dog belongs to that fellow that calls himself Bob Crandall. And that room belongs to the girl that's working for you. I got a hunch them two's working together. I'm beginning to understand what happened to that record book. Come on, we'll go over and search that room. See what you can find in that dresser over there. Slug, come here. Want that record book? No, there's nothing in there but some clothes. I found money. That girl's name is one Melbourne. Why, that's the old lady. And she's his daughter. And she can work for me under an assumed name. something, Miss Allen? Uh, no, uh, well, yes, that is. I have an errand to do and I'd like to get away for a short time. What's the meaning of this? Uh, let's quit pretending, Miss Welburn. Where's that record book? I don't know what you're talking about. No use acting any longer. We might as well lay our cards on the table. I know that you and this Bob Crandall are working together. That you hid him in your room last night. Then you... You're the Triangle Mining Company. As if you didn't know. Then you... You murdered my father. Removed might be a better sounding term. But of course you'd have to prove that. And as there are no witnesses, it would simply be your word against mine. And even if you did get a chance to use this evidence, which you certainly will not, and neither will your friend Bob Crandall, my men will take care of him. They'll shoot him down as the man who robbed the recorder's office and shot Sam Dunn. We're going for a little ride. You not to cause any trouble. Hey, what are you doing snooping around here? I struck it rich. I struck it rich. Well, you come with me.
Hey, fella. If I stopped you in time, you were sure walking into a trap. They're waiting for you. You were sure? Yeah. I'm just down here playing a part. I'm down here to look into the doings of this triangle company. Well, you certainly had me fooled completely. They got no time to waste. I just got the dope on the fellow that's responsible for these claim jumpings and the murders in the Bonanza. It's this fellow Frank Sheridan. Sh Sheridan? Well, how'd you get the dope on him? Well, I first suspected something when I saw him hide in that record book from the recorder's office. Then just a few minutes ago, I overheard him spill everything. Well, let's be traveling. I may need your help. Sheridan's heading for the Silver Trail, and he's got the girl along with him that works for him. You don't mean Miss Welburn, do you? I think that's her name. Come on. Well, what happened to you? I don't know. I must be screwy or seeing things. I just saw a worm turn into a wolf. That's that Crandall now, and he's got Looney with him. Looney, me I. We're the ones that's crazy. That's the bird that's been working with Crandall. There's Sheridan now, talking to two of his cutthroats. I wonder where the girl is. Well, she's probably in the cabin. You stay here and watch them. I'll take care of these boys. I'm going back to town and see if they got that fella Crandall. There he is now. with me. Isn't that a cowardly trick? You stay here and watch his men. I'm going after that wagon.
You know, it looks as if we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah. You know what I think? What? If we consolidated, it'd make it much easier. That's a good idea. You think so? I second the motion. 